everyone, we are the, the Nobodies. Nobodies. What are we doing here today? Today we are going to be listening to a band called Love and Death with the singer from Korn, Brian Head Welch. We are listening to Chemicals, and Chemicals is a very inspirational song? Yes, Brian was a drug addict. He was into meth, crystal meth. That was his drug of choice. And uh, he had left the band to go uh, find Jesus and to get off drugs. And quite literally, Jesus took the wheel on that one. Yes, he did. And uh, he's back with Korn now, but this was his time when uh, he was still not with Korn. He created a band called Love and Death where he sang and uh, he talked about basically his life. Yeah, so with that, it's been a while. Vacation, work, life, you know how it is. But let's just get right into this. Yes, we need metal in our life right now. We very much need metal in our life. Now let's listen to this very inspirational Rebound song. I'm son. And I'm father. Let's do this. Yes. Admittedly, I've heard the song before. Yes, this is not a reaction. This is more of a review. But the but, video is brand new to me. Oh, you haven't seen the video? I've never seen the video. Oh, okay. Well, what you get from the first uh, couple seconds? Well, I'm getting the vibe that this guy's kind of trapped. Yes. We're getting the freaking whole... He's in chains. He's like, in chains. He, the drug has him in chains. And, uh, yeah, he's, 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 uh, he's a drug addict. Bad. And that's basically what the first, you know, seconds of the song tell you when he's uh, trapped, he's chained up. Honestly, the opening of the song gives you such a good feeling about what exactly he felt doing drugs, or at least maybe going through rehab. But it doesn't. It hasn't completely kicked into that metal feeling yet. Right now, it's just setting up for the big explosion yeah. every metal song has. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it does. We'll see if it does. I love that chorus. You can totally <laughs> see that he's the drug. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the other guys are running away. Like, you know, the, the, the drug wants to take take them over, you know, and they're trying to get away from it. But for some odd reason, the drug catches them. Yeah, it's <clears throat> it's addicting. You know. Or maybe, maybe in this video it's the case of he hasn't done drugs yet. Is that a possibility? No, no, he's definitely in drugs because he says that he, the, 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 the last line was, you know, how he smoked and he felt the sensation and, it, mm -hmm. you know, and you saw the, the cartoon of him going from a human into like a skeleton type figure. Yeah. Like it was, it just took him over. You, he literally says all he smells is a burst of chemicals. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the chorus is amazing, you know, and it's, it's crazy that a guitarist from Korn 
you know, would actually be a singer. Yeah, right? <laughs> but let's keep going. I mean, this part's simple. Well, you see how mad he is at himself? Yeah. You know, he's sitting there, he's screaming, he's like, time that I've missed, you know? It's like he, because when, you know, if you go back to the old corn videos, you you know, you could go back, way back into corn videos where they're all partying, the whole band's partying, they got drugs, they got girls, they got, you know, uh, drink, they got everything that, that is a rock star lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And he just, you know, met with the wrong people. And why, why they all, be, you know, continued with drinking and, like, light drugs, I guess you would say. He went to the heavier drugs. And he actually, he tells stories how he was, you know, he was doing it behind, ba you know, their backs. And, and a lot of the band members didn't even know what he was really going through. Really? Yeah. Huh. But, you know, he found God, and everybody in this vehicle, I mean, uh, this video, they're all, uh, they're, they all go to church. You wouldn't know that from this video, but they're all into Jesus. That's how, that's why he joined this band, because they're all just like him, either ex-addicts or, uh, very spiritual people. Yeah, it's on, it's kind of on the same level as, like, the other day I was explaining to a friend of mine why Five Finger Death Punch is such a great band. Friggin... They are a metal band, but they were all in the army at one point or another. Yeah. So they have stories to tell. It's these videos where it's videos like these and bands like these. Yeah. They so really don't know their backstory, but yeah, you don't know their backstory. But more importantly, these are the type of things where you're like, dude, metal isn't all just a bunch of screaming and growling. Yeah. Like this video, this is the most inspirational thing you could freaking watch. It's a dude who was addicted to. A very hardcore drug, yeah. and he got out of and it. He got out of it, and he's singing about it. He's, he's you know, he's a here bit to screaming here and there. Yeah, but he's but, here to tell the story in his own metal way. Yes, and 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 the reason he tells these stories, and that's the reason these metal bands come out and tell these stories. So future metalheads, or future you know band members, or future uh, people who want to join bands, don't do the don't same do thing. the same thing he did, and you know, and he actually goes around now around the world, and he, and he believes he went back to corn because he believes that you know going to corn he'll be able to spread Jesus's word through thousands of people. Yeah, because everyone exes exes him. Oh, corn curses a lot. You know, Jonathan Davis got a mouth of a freaking gutter. <laughs> but it's like, and you why why do you him. go with him? You know, that's you know, devil musical. Blah blah blah. He's like, yes, you know what? But I, that's him. That you know, this is me. When I go, I I tell my story to my millions of fans. You know, it, a word is a word. You know, because the whole band quit. Fieldy, the basis is now clean. He's into Jesus. Uh, Brian Head Welch is into Jesus. Jonathan Davis is sobered up. He's been sober for so many years. And Ray Luzier is a family. He got two kids. You know, doesn't do anything. It, it, even Corn cleaned up. So Brian Head Welch is coming back to Corn. You know, kind of inspired the rest mm -hmm. of the band to follow him too. But 
metal's just all a bunch of screaming and bad stuff. And bad drugs and, and bad, bad drugs. and devil. And, yeah, yeah. We keep going. Yeah. That's it. it. All in one song, his whole life story. Man, it's freaking amazing. <laughs> what Absolute a great res- song, right? Absolute respect. Yeah, respect. Anyway. Remember I hope to that like. wasn't loud for the mic. Eh, it probably was. It usually is. <laughs> so remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us down in the comment section below what songs we should listen to. Because we take your requests and press the subscribe button with a little bell next to it to get notified every time we upload a video yes every time every time that's crazy wow. and buy some shirts we got our brand new designs we plan to get them out too i'm son and i'm father rock on rock on crazy i love you